Jingle bells, Batman smells, Robin laid an egg. The Batmobile lost the wheel. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of The Cooperators, where John Goodman is getting away. Don't let him get away. Oh my god. Jesus. This game is weird. Okay, what were you saying? Well, uh, you were asking me, uh, Uncle Phil's the black one. Yeah, he's the black one. <laughs> Wait, is he the black one? I just realized. Wait, Fresh Prince of Bel Air. That's um, like uh, the fucking skit on either Family Guy or American Dad, where they were on the Cosby sh Show, and he was like, "So if you're all related, how come you're all a different shade of black?" <laughs> <laughs> well, they're all actors, so they're not the real yeah. Cosby's. You know what sucks? I love the Cosby Show, but I just can't watch it anymore because of all the shit that happened. I think it's the same aspect that people actually feel, because I, look, I'm gonna be honest with you, I still like Bill Cosby. I love the show, but like, learning about who he is, I, I don't, I, I can't. It's, yeah, same thing, because I like uh, Bill Cosby himself, the, the comedy show, because it is funny, but like, you can't watch it anymore now because he's such an asshole and a bastard and like, like, destro like, like he destroyed his name. It's like, Bill, you had a great show, why? Like, I just wanted to fucking bitches. But I'm gonna grab me. And what are you getting? You're gonna suck on the pudding, pop, and it's gonna go zoom. You know when you get the mud, and then you fuck that shit up, and it's like, oh, and there goes my career. What would happen if Bill Cosby right. met with um, Boomhauer from King of the Hill? The guy that goes here, and you know, I can't get it. I can't get it. What the f- That all dude! I, all I hear was- Yeah, you gave me none of that. Like, what? <laughs> you, but you know who I'm talking about, right? Bill Maurer. Yeah. What would it be like if him and Bill Cosby met? <laughs> like, their characters. I, I don't know why. I, 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 I don't know what the situation would be. Why you know what I also want to- I also try to imagine, but I can't. Actually, I can, but it's fucked up. Jim Carrey in a room with... Fuck, who is it? Jim Carrey in a room with Dane Cook and the older brother from my Carly who played Spencer. I don't know his name. I don't even know him either. But, oh, hey, get the fuck back over here! But when I imagine the three of them in a room, I just imagine they're all looking at a point in between them. They're in like a triangle and there's like an intersection and they're staring at that point. There's like a, a long moment of silence. And then, outside of the room, all you hear is just a loud, synchronized scream that breaks glass within a 50-mile radius. And who does that? All of them. Not like a terrified scream. They're all just going... <laughs> I was gonna say, like, Jim Carrey's... Want to hear the most annoying sound in the world? Ah! Type of scream. <laughs> oh, wait, by the way, what type of Jim... Which Jim Carrey? Young Jim or old Jim? Young. Definitely okay. Definitely young. Cause I'm talking about like old. Have you recently seen Jim Carrey? What it looks like now? He's he he's mellow. It's like he's done like some drugs, and it's like I'm all good. It's all good. What Are the fuck? That hit was, That's gotta hurt. Nah, it's all good. I didn't know I was supposed to shoot it. But anyway, that is a beautiful plane. It's a uh, it's a. Uh, Let, let's ride it. I think we're almost done with this game, honestly, because this is the uh, the plane that has to that we have to blow up at the end. This is the plane that they oh, yeah? that the terrorists escape on. I feel like we're playing a 007 ripoff. It's a 007 light, light, light shooter, which, you know, honestly, that actually does sound like a pretty good idea. That does, actually, yeah. Like, Goldeneye light shooter. You know what? I wouldn't mind that. I wouldn't mind to try a game out like that. Like that. I mean, after Goldeneye Reloaded, I mean, it was okay. I mean, they really didn't have to, like, change up all the characters, honestly. Because, I mean, it was fine the way it was with Pierce Brosnan and everybody else. I mean, yeah, it's a, a nice a nice change, Love those but barrels. not necessary. Love those barrels. I think you need to do that to continue. I gotta shoot these fuckers. That's yeah, all it really is. In. They're always gonna keep spawning in. What's a green box there? Can yeah. that be blown up? See? If this is just rails. Huh. Okay. Very linear. Nothing too impressive where the fact that you gotta do some extra shit. The only extra shit you gotta do is kill everybody that, 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 that you see. Like, any of these people that you, that you see, you have to kill them. Jesus. Can you see? He's like, can you see me? <laughs> what the fuck? You saw him? I'm pulling up a James Bond. Anyway. I'm starting to run out of things to talk about. Kurt Russell. 
is a very good actor. Yeah, he's alright. He's gonna be in the new uh, Guardians of the Galaxy movie. You know what I'm sad about? Lego Dimensions is not on PC, and you can play as Sonic, and there's actually a story for it. Like a Sonic story. Like a legit story that was made by a Sega? Yeah. There's a Sonic story in there. Is it a good story? It or actually is. It references Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Oh, there you go. Merry Christmas. Nice. Like an AK. Huh? It references Sonic 3 and Knuckles with the hidden power zone, the seven modes. You even get to go Super Sonic. I never understood the Dimension games. It's like... Basically, anything being lego That's it. That's it. I still don't really, like, understand the full aspect of it. Shoot it. Rocket? I'm getting the rockets. There you go. <laughs> so this is the ending of Die Hard 3 now. We have to fight a uh, helicopter. Level completion bonuses. Yay! Good times. <clears throat> and now we're just starting to run out of things to talk about. I mean, we were really, like, intent on, like, talking about, like, our first time of getting laid. <laughs> And like, and my penis is, is and my penis is too big. Well, it is 1 a.m. Oh, it's a bonus level. Or the final level. Uh, I think it's a bonus level actually. The final level, you'll know when the final level is. It's like it was more fly we're flying basically. I still have this gun on me. I, 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 I'm like, I'm missing my Beretta, but like, now I'm stuck with this MP5 type of gun. Uh huh. But yeah, um, yeah, we were like really intent on talking about like the first time I got laid and sex, 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 sex oh my and my God. dick is very big. My dick has problems. But if the girls like it. <laughs> yeah, yes, yeah, so my dick is all right. I mean, it's got its, it's got its ups and downs when you go up and down on it. I mean, it's good and all. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. What, what was the question? <laughs> yeah, that, Wil that, Wilford Brumley? I don't even know. Like I said, that's why my, my my problems was that my dick is too big that it can't do all the fun stuff that I want to do. Like My I, dick's doing good. So, what's your favorite sex position? Doggy. Mm. Yeah, I would have to say the same. Girls love it. What's your favorite thing to do during sex? Roll a load inside. Where, though? In, in, inside. Inside vagina, ass, yes. mouth? Because I prefer the mouth. Like inside the womb. <laughs> but that's just me, because I'm a sick bastard. Oh, fetishes! Let's talk about fetishes! Ah, yes, fetishes! Ah, Porcu yes. Porcupine vibrators! Yes, fetishes. Something that we all love to relate to. So what is your fetish? There's a porcupine vibrator on the internet. It's roughly $400. It's covered in porcupine quills that are very hard to break are they real? and are very no, sharp. Real. Yes, they, they will hurt. So, it, it'll only make you bleed a lot. It can be used for pain, obviously, pleasure rarely, or if you tie it to a stick, home security. Fuck. I kid you not. <laughs> I'm gonna spear somebody with a friggin' uh. Imagine, dildo. imagine you break into someone's home and they're like, yo, back up, motherfucker! You see they have a baseball bat, but what's that tied to the end of it? It's a fucking porcupine vibrator! You and that shit's gonna go through you, bro. Can you imagine that during the zombie apocalypse as a, as a what, melee weapon? Oh, God. <laughs> I know. That's 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 all that's going through my head. I don't know. I don't really have fetishes. I just I like being thorough with um foreplay, and I like blowing my load inside any hole I can get my dick in. You don't have any fetishes. I, I don't. Not really. But what's like? I just enjoy fucking. Like what turns you on like a lot? Like blowing a load inside, not pulling out, and going for another round. That's about. That's the only thing I can count as a fetish. Like and barely. What about like do you like whips? As a fetish? Uh, not really. Leather? No. Lace stuff leather? No, I just want to get to fucking in foreplay. In, a, rever in, re in reverse order. A girl in a full body latex cat suit that does not turn you on. I'd be like, that's nice, but take it off. Oh no, I'm the same way, take it off, but like that doesn't turn you on is what I'm saying. No, not really. Huh. Oh, that's just my, that's my thing, leather and latex. For a girl to wear it, like if a girl's wearing like a full body latex cat suit and like, yep, we're doing it. I don't know who you are, but we're fucking. Actually, do you remember that in, um, uh, we went to go see the Game Grumps, uh, live? And, uh, Danny was, uh, I, I think this is, this is probably live somewhere. It's probably on YouTube. But, um, Danny was, uh, you know, they're, they're getting all these people up on stage. And, uh, 
He gets this one girl. They were coming back from. This is all after Comic Con, so he gets yeah, this one Comic-Con girl. Yeah, Comic Con was the same fucking day. He gets this girl that came, came back from Comic Con, and she was. She did really good on her uh, Catwoman outfit. Uh -huh. That. Oh, here are the grenades, and do I just. Do I have to shoot? I, I guess we just play tennis. Uh oh. Look out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not like you could do anything. Yeah, no, we just launched out of the- Look uh, at that loading! <laughs> no, we just like, we, we did the ejective seat. But yeah, she was wearing a full body latex katsu because she was uh, playing as Scout, because she was Catwoman during Comic-Con. And when Danny saw her, he was like, oh, oh, oh my goodness. Oh, um, hi. <laughs> like he was like a jitt jittery boy, like high school jittery boy. Hi, he was, wanted to give her a hug. He was like, oh no, he wanted to do more than that. That 30 year old dirty man. Oh yeah, he's in his 30s. Yeah, he's 33, I think. I don't even know how old Danny that is. Old fuck. The oldest one is, is Barry, uh, not Barry, is um, uh, Brian. I think he's in his Why is it still late, going? Late 30s. No, I said the last levels were gonna be flying. Like when I mean when I say flying, we're gonna be like, wee! I think two more levels, and I think that's it. So I think next... what's the last level? Next time on the cooperatives, I think next episode might be the last episode for a Die Hard because I... should we do Die Hard 3? It's not Christmas though. That's the problem. Not for Christmas. It's not, okay, so it's not a Christmas game. That's why. Oh, Sorry. Gee, thanks. Sorry. You, bastard. You gotta, you gotta secure it to your you ear. You bastard! Secure it to your ear. No, because if that shit happens, it's gonna hurt like this. That didn't hurt. That, that didn't hurt. hurt. <laughs> that, that didn't hurt. We edited it out. Ah! <laughs> next time on the Cooperators, we're gonna continue with some more Die Hard. We'll see you next time. And the Joker got away.